Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of Upon Further Review. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at the Destiny gameplay trailer, The Moon, that was just released. So let's take a look. Here we stand. We're going to stop the trailer right here, and what we can see is the moon on the top of the screen right here, and then the large orb that you see directly in the middle of the screen over the city is called the Traveler. It's a mysterious uh, force that came to Earth a very long time ago, about 700 years before the start of this game, and it allowed the people of Earth to tap into a mysterious power, and it helped them on their golden age of space exploration. But after alien races and a, um unknown assailant, took over most of Earth's colonies. The Traveler uh, became a last resort, last refuge for the people of Earth. And the last city on Earth, which is now being attacked by the unknown alien hostiles, is underneath the Traveler in its protective shield. The last city on Earth. We once looked to the stars and saw hope. As the trailer moves along, we're going to get to see the moon, and we're going to get to stop coming up right here. And here we can see a dead astronaut on the face of the moon. As we hear in the trailer, the uh, enemy forces have been amassing at the core of the moon, and that's where they seem to be staging their assault on the last city of Earth from. So definitely the moon is going to play an important part in this game. For us. For centuries, they have waited growing stronger, buried deep within the core of our moon. And we're going to stop the trailer right here real quick to take a look at this ship. We can see the ship taking off uh, from Earth. We're thinking that it's possible that the ship might be a way to travel between the moon, uh, Earth, and any other important uh, parts of the game. It's going to be a massive game, very large in size and in scale, and the world's going to be alive, according to Bungie, so we'll have to see just how far-reaching the environments in the game are, but it's possible that this ship will be, a lot, will be able to take us from place to place. We're going to stop the trailer again right here. As we just saw, there was a uh, incendiary grenade was thrown. It's obviously going to be one of the secondary weapon types in the game. We're going to stop the trailer again real quick right here. As we can see, a new enemy type. Um, it has, apparently has three yellow eyes, and it walks on two feet. That's about all we know about the enemy at this point. And here we can see a large door opening and three characters going in. Uh, it's possible that this is an instance dungeon for the game. Uh, we're not sure at this point, but that's our best guess. The fight to take back all that has been lost. As we saw right there, that's one of the special abilities that uh, players are going to be able to use throughout the course of the game. Uh, as we talked about the Traveler earlier, the Traveler allowed the humans and the other people of Earth to tap into a mysterious force, and it seems like these abilities and these powers are a part of that. Begins here. And we're going to stop the trailer here one more time to take a look at another new enemy type. It seems like this enemy type is able to tap into some of that mysterious power that we had talked about earlier. And, if and there we just saw a sliding into a firing stance position that will most likely be a mechanic that can be used in the game itself. We can fulfill our destiny. We will become legend. And we're going to get our final stop for the trailer, and this looks like another new enemy type, and most likely is going to be a boss battle, as this uh, character is very large. Mm -hmm. 
And that's it for the gameplay trailer for Destiny. Uh, check back at VGU.TV for more information as we get it about the game as it nears its spring 2014 release.